Mini games are scattered all over Gillenor. We'll see if I can overcome the challenges thrown my way and achieve our initial long term goal of defeating Jad and obtaining a fire cake. Meet our champion, MG Lot, my mini game only Iron Man. Just like any other limitation account, there is rules. Any XP gained on the account can come from the mini game, any quests that are completed to unlock the mini games, and any resources obtained from the mini game. The only quests I can complete are those needed to unlock mini games. Random events and clue scrolls can be completed. Item spawns within the minigame area are allowed. Shops can only be used in the following situations. This is when the currency used in the shop is one earned from the minigame, or if I need to buy a quest item that is only obtainable through the shop. Starting off as a hardcore Iron Man to see how far we can actually get, and see if we can achieve a fire cape with hardcore status. Probably won't though. At the moment my plan is to complete room mysteries because it's kind of the only thing I can do at the moment. Work more into his gun to the rift. Get that quest done. And then do Enter the Abyss. Currently, Winter Todd's out of action. We don't have 50 fire making. And there's no real easy way of getting the logs at the moment. My plan was to chop the logs at pest control. However, you need 40 combat to get that. And right now, we are not in a state to do any combat. Because we have no materials, no weapons. So for now, I'm just going to do room mysteries. And then Enter the Abyss. And hopefully come up with a better game plan once that's done. Room mysteries completed. First quest on the account done means I can now do enter the abyss. First enemy is gonna attack me right now. Let's just go straight through. Yeah, fuck off, mate. Fuck right off. So I thought, just even after this very first bit of quest that I've done, I have decided I need to get my agility up. So I will be going at some point to Grimhaven Agility Arena, stack up loads of tokens passively, and just try and get better agility just so we can move around the game a lot better because this is very tedious and sucks a lot. So for this part of the quest, I need to run into the wilderness. I will let my run energy regenerate. Because it's risky as anything. Especially with the amount of people that seem to be here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just go for it. There should hopefully be no PKs. Famous last words. That's fucking stress. Not safe yet though, boys. Not safe yet. Come on. Okay, there we go. Breathe. <laughs> Don't intend to go into the wilderness at all. So my death is now going to be a confirmed PVM death. Or an absolute fuck up. Probably the latter. Hey, Major Sammy. Give me some shit. Send to the abyss completed. That puts us up to nine room crafting. That puts us one level off of being able to do Guns of the Rift. So in order to get that, we'll just get 10 room crafting. I'll need to get some random events. Once I get the random events, the XP ones, that is for the Genie and the Book of Knowledge, we can put that into room crafting, and that will then allow us to do Guardians of the Rift. Oh, it's got a small pouch. Nice. So let's go down to the Brimhaven Agility Arena, which will be my home for quite a while, I would suspect. Do I have to pay to go in? I'd like to use the Agility Arena, please. 200 coins? You're taking the piss. Absolute daylight robbery, that scam. Find a way of making money. Not sure how I'm going to do that. Great. <laughs> Well, back to drawing board. Think of a way to make money. Bare minimum money, that is. Oh, here's my first random event. Let's go. This could be huge. I really need some supplies, some money. Give me something. Give me something good. Oh, fuck off. Full of shit. Just for entering the Brimhaven Agility Arena. She 200 coins just to enter that. At the moment, we're at kind of a stalemate where we can't actually make any money. After some research, I found out there is some coins that spawn within the Emir Arena mini game, and there are only a few coins on the floor. For now, I'm going to start picking all that up like a little scavenger that I am. So for now, I'm going to get a bit of a cash stack. Not much because it will take me bloody ages. Yeah, just going around picking up little coins like a little tramp. There's our 100 coins. Well, our first 100 coins. So here's my 200 coin. There we go. That's now enough to enter the Brimhaven Agility Arena, so I will actually go do that. So now I've got 200 coins, I can now enter the Brimhaven Agility Arena, so I climb down. So I'm going to be using, because there's different tiers of obstacles, some you can foul. Some obstacles you need agility level 1, agility level 20, some you need agility level 40. This one here you can't actually foul if you always choose the right one. Just be doing this constantly, just walking across this plank. And I think I should get about 6 XP? Yeah, 6 XP part 1. Could be a while. Gotta keep an eye out though because it does change. I do not want to fall off this. It's now it's changed. Now it's changed, gotta be careful. Now this is riveting content. And there's level two, a first mini game level up of the account.
this moment, he knew. He fucked up. So that was terrifying. It changed as I clicked it. And I fell and took two damage, but it's good to know that I only took two damage and not ten. Still hardcore. I thought I was going to die then. I thought that was the end. My heart stopped. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's five agility. We'll take that, we'll take that. There's some genie. Nice, we've got a genie. That means we only need one more, and that means we can only go into the rift. I will stash that for later. There's level 10 agility. How the Brimhaven Agility Arena works is that there's 25 towers, and each one has a ticket dispenser. Reaching consecutive dispensers within the allocated time, you will receive a ticket. Tickets can then be spent on rewards such as agility XP, herbs, or even a pirate's hook. <laughs> Right, I'm going for it. I'm going for our first ticket. See if I can get it. It's through. Come on. Come on. I've got this. There we go. Thank you very much. Also, didn't see this wall over here. Ah, oh, collection log. Agility arena take it. Obtained. That's our first. I'm pretty sure I can stick to this now. So I'm not sure if I can foul this. Oh, okay, I can't fail it. I take no damage. It's quicker in ticks and it's more XP. There's level 11. Back we go. We can get that ticket again. We can get back to back. Boom. Back to back tickets. Oh, could be three in a row. I'm going for this. Being kind to us at the moment. There we go. Second round of event. E. First bit of fashion scape. There we go. What a look that is. So that's 20 agility secured. That's our 10th token. Let's go. We'd love to see it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, leave it there. Because 2 HP. Don't want to die. No point in risking it. Unnecessary risk, for sure. Like four in a row there, though. So we'll take that. I'm not going to cash them in yet, anyway. We'll just stay on for now until we get probably about 40. Then I might start investing. 23 agility. And there's someone here doing the same as me. Oh, he fell. Get wrecked, son. Get f***ing wrecked. Don't even climb a f***ing wall. Ooh. There's 30 agility. This is day number five of being in this prison. The walls are closing in. We can get this. Hopefully don't foul anything. Where are we going? Oh, that's pressure pads. These are always a nightmare. Oh, no. I don't know why. Fuck it. Come on. We got this. 30 seconds. Don't be close. Come on, do it. Do it first time. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Oh, he's through. Come on. Come on. Don't foul. Don't foul. Yes. We've done it. There we go. That's 50. Things we love to see. 50 tokens. I'm a massive agility man. Random event. Hopefully it gives us some money. That will be nice. Oh, bar. How kind of him. Just what I need. So it's been a slight issue. I lost quite a lot of footage from the Brimhaven Agility Arena. The footage I've got is me up to what you've just seen, 50 odd tokens. I did get a lot more than that. I got to 100 and then I called it there. And that's resulted in me to get 42 agility in total, about 50,000 experience. And it was just a discussion of what our next plans were going to be. Our next plans were do the Restless Ghost to get my prayer up. We can do this quest due to it being a requirement for temporal trekking. And hopefully it will spawn a random event to allow us to do Gardens of the Rift. So this is where we, we pick it back up. I'm going to do Restless Ghost quickly. Just smash that out. Get a few prayer levels that way. Restless Ghost is needed for the, the minigame temple trekking. So it's best just to get it out early. Build the account a bit quicker. Should be an easy one to do though. It'll be good to get temple trekking as soon as possible really. Because that would be a lot of good resources. And it also be a lot of good skills to level up. Uh, for all the tomes that you can get. Agility, fire making, fishing, mining, slayer, thieving, wood cutting. It'll be a good few early levels any of them skills. Quest completed. That gets up to nine prayer. Or go up a combat level. We're now massive. Just after we finished Restless Ghost, a count random event appeared, and that meant we got an XP lamp from this. This meant we had two XP lamps in total, so I could put it in both into rune crafting, and that got us to level 10. Once we got level 10, that meant we can actually do Temple of the Eye, and then following that, Guidance of the Rift. Right now, I'm going to go do the museum quiz. We'll get some kudos, which is what's needed for some of the other quests in order to do the mini games within Fossil Island, such as the Volcanic Mine mini game. We'll get that done. We'll get Nine Hunter, Nine Slayer, and then we'll go do Temple of the Eye. Go see the, the Indiana Jones wannabe. There he is. Orlando. Good day, mate. Two day Galagas, please, mate. We all know what this is. Just got to identify each exhibit. It's such a good mini game. Makes you learn so much about the environment, you know. All the endangered species. 
the lot. Lol, Stu dig holes. I think that's it all done. Should be Nine Slayer and Nine Hunter. Nine Slayer, Nine Hunter. We can't really do Hunter until level 17 anyway. The only thing I can think of right now is Implings within a mini game, and that's Baby Implings. So, level 17. But we've got some kudos. Need, need quite a bit of kudos for the. In order to access Fossil Island. But now onto the grand finale. Let's go to Temple of the Eye. So, let's go to Alcred and talk to Wizard Purston. I'm the world's quickest speaker, you know. Absolutely zooming. Back to Varrot we go. It'd be nice once we do Guns Rift though, because then I can then get some runes. We can then find a way to get our magic up. And then that way we can then start to unlock teleports. And that will make just run in general so much nicer. Wait, you're not doing anything, let's be honest. But still skin. Come on, mate. Round two. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get juked. Left him for fucking dust. Pathetic. I still want some though. Still want some. One mug. You know what? I'll have a mug of tea though. Cheers, mate. Round three. Gonna try and actually do anything this time. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna close the door on you though. Oh, you actually hit me through the door. Man's got hacks. All hacks. Oh, I think it's this one. Um, I'm insane guys, first time, first try, I try and be genius here, go for the fire rift, but I don't know if it will actually work, you know what, I think I'm a genius, I think I'm actually a genius, my IQ is unmatched, insane, that was by far the quickest way to get back to Alcarid, boom, look at that, power of friendship, it's the first time we're into the Guardians of Rift minigame, they come to the squad, they'll be locked here forever now, oh we need a pickaxe and a chisel, so I'll take them, so we're going to get our early mining levels and early crafter levels. There we go. It's 15 room crafting. 17. Ah, she's zooming. Seven levels already. Not even finished the quest. There we go. This temporary eye completed. 5,000 room crafting XP. A medium pouch. Access to guns of the rift. 27 room crafting. Nice. Now temporary eye is completed. Guns of the rift is our new home. New minigame unlocked. One step closer to getting our fire cape.